Luis Urias is a rising star in baseball. We've known that and watched the rise in El Paso the past couple years. A two-time AAA All-Star with the Chihuahuas and the San Diego Padres is number two prospect. Thing is, coming into the season, we expected them to be the Padres starting second baseman, and that just hasn't happened, even with the Padres struggles at that position. Arias made his major league debut last August for the Padres. He was, was even called up this April after starting the year in El Paso before being sent right back down. He's now hitting 316 with 18 home runs and 48 runs batted in this season for the Chihuahuas. So much success that Padres fans in San Diego have been left wondering why he isn't with their big league team. I don't really have the answers to that, but I do know the time could be coming soon. Maybe tough for uh, the Chihuahua fans because I know they always having him, but you know I, I feel I feel confident that when he goes up, which is hopefully sooner rather than later, he's going to be in a position to help the Padres. Hard contact. That's what we're looking for, and on a, on a consistent basis, day in, day out. And uh, he's still working on that. I think that uh, you know he's he's ready. I think he's ready. Rios has been battling a sore shoulder the past couple days, but I'm told the injury is not serious. It did force him to miss tonight's ball game. And speaking of tonight's ball game, Chihuahua is looking to split a four-game series with the Albuquerque Isotopes. Top two Isotopes already have two nothing, and adding to that lead with this RBI knock from Josh Fuentes, this made it two nothing Topes. The very next batter, it's Pat Valeka, just sent down by the Colorado Rockies, and he's taking out some frustration on the baseball. A three-run bomb to left, his 17th of the year with Albuquerque. All of a sudden, it's 6 nothing. Chihuahuas would get a run in their half of the second inning on this Matthew Batten RBI single, but not much after that. Topes win it 12-3. Chihuahuas begin a four-game series in Reno tomorrow night.